People, it is no secret the majority of the people can't live a luxurious lifestyle. But to these people, I say, just work harder. Everybody can do it. If that statement didn't trigger you, you probably got a mansion so big you don't even know what the outside world looks like. Let's look at celebrity moments that just don't feel real and are so out of touch. It's embarrassing. First of all, we get Kim Kardashian blessing us with this pearl of wisdom she gave us. Get your fucking ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You That's have to, so true. You have to surround yeah. yourself with people that want to work. Thanks, Kim. I'll make sure I tell my landlord that when I don't have rent on time. My bad I wasn't born in a mansion. Sorry, yeah? People don't want to work these days. That's why you're poor. I don't really like PR teams for celebrities since I like when they're genuine, but some people really do need a PR team and she's one of them. Media, have we? Say again, sir? We have media, have we? Yes, sir, I'm David. David, what'd you do? Yes, sir, I'm a pantry. Just, just two seconds. Yes, sir. It's, it's already bread is. Oh, I'm yes, sir. Fried. I'm gonna fry it right now, sir. That's already cooked. Yes, sir. So, when was it cooked? Oh, actually, we get it in a box, sir. We get it from a fish company, sir. Completely frozen. Just touch that. Oh, yes, sir. It feels like rubber. I, I don't eat the fish here, sir. How come you know this and you're still doing it? My opinion doesn't matter in this restaurant. If you know it's bad, yes. and yet you just, against your will, do it. <laughs> Life. <laughs> if Gordon Ramsay would ask him one more question, this guy is crashing out, bro. He is this close. This calls to exploding. Yo, Ramsey just can't seem to wrap his head around the fact that people work and don't want to lose their job over some personal opinions they have on the food. This guy is not risking it. If, if it's not a high class restaurant, you don't make that kind of money in the kitchen that you can just, you know, start saying, hey, wait, why is the food here so bad? Like, I would do whatever they say. I'm not in the position for anything here. What's also no secret is that a child is expensive. And it's really hard to be a regular working mom. It's hard to provide for a family. But I think someone someone wants to disagree with me here. I feel like there's a little disturbance coming from over there. Like there's a person who d just doesn't doesn't think that's right. Actress and mom of two, Gwyneth Paltrow, drawing the anger of some working moms after suggesting Hollywood moms have it harder. I think to have a regular job and be a mom, of course there are challenges, but it's not like being on set. Yeah, that's actually crazy. Imagine you're a multimillionaire doing like one movie a year and then saying that a regular working mom is not as hard as being an actress mom. Let's, let's say you work like for two months, you're just constantly working like 10, 12 hours a day, but the rest of the year is payday time, baby. Just a little promo here and there. Hey, brother, you, you can't compare this and you're making millions. That's crazy. But Gwyneth Paltrow is actually known for being out of touch of reality. For example, she said this in an interview. I am who I am. I can't pretend to be somebody who makes $25,000 a year. Damn, okay, you could have worded that a bit better, man. Like, hold on, wait. Isn't acting your, your job? Like, do you not pretend to be another person for a living? Why can't you do this? Why can't you just pretend to be a person that earns $25,000? There was a time in the world, not too long ago, when people couldn't work at all and lost their jobs because of the quarantine. Let's look back four years ago and let's see what celebrities have been cooking up because celebrities didn't hold back to let their struggles be known to the public. And I think they didn't realize that most people don't really share their lifestyles, so I don't think anybody could relate. For example, Ellen DeGeneres said, being in quarantine is like being in jail while she was living in a mansion. I mean, I get it, everyone suffered during the pandemic, but my jail didn't have four bathrooms and a pool. Kim Kardashian flew people out on a private island for a birthday during the pandemic, and then having the audacity to say, it was nice to pretend things were normal. Right, yeah, sure, just a regular Tuesday where I fly all my friends out to a private island I just rented or bought or whatever. I wish I would live my normal life again when I could fly people out to islands. We also will always remember the interview where a woman said, we all have the same 24 hours a day, when we clearly don't have the same 24 hours a day. And let's not forget this atrocity. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below us. Above us on the sky. I'm gonna end the clip right there, I don't wanna watch anymore, you all know how it goes. They also sing like, imagine no possessions, and you're like, hey, 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 what you saying? Imagine no possessions? I, if you don't care, give me your stuff, uh, right now. If you don't want it, I'll take it, I'm, I'm not asking anymore, I'll take it. 
I hope YouTube recognizes this as a joke and not as an actual threat. Otherwise, brother, please. It also sounds so bad. You can't tell me otherwise. We're in the same boat. We're certainly not in the same boat. You're on the super yacht and I'm on the small ferry just sailing there. But I'm still lucky enough not to be on the wooden boat that has a leak in it. You know what I mean? It's been rough times and celebrities had to let everybody know that there was still a thing. Because no one cared about celebrities at that time. Which was nice. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm getting carried away. Let's leave the lockdown for now. And before this next clip, I want to ask you a question. And I want you to answer me in the comments. What is a luxury to you? To answer my own question, I would say a luxury for me is to have a healthy diet. Healthy food, I mean really good diet, is expensive. In this economy, yeah, <laughs> try that. But let's see what Larry King considers a luxury. Uh, a luxury you can't live without. A luxury I can't live without coffee. I really like good it's coffee. It's not a luxury you can get it anywhere. Uh, I guess, yeah, I like good coffee. What's, uh, I love coffee too. I like nice socks. Socks. Your, your socks, would you put in your shoes? Yeah, I really love them. I like kind of like, you know, cozy feet. You're attracted to your socks. I'm attracted to really nice running socks. Like, I'm always looking for good running you know, socks. Not, that's not a luxury, though. Coffee and socks are not a luxury. All right, give me a luxury. Which, what luxury should I have? Private plane. Larry, I'm on DuckTales. Larry, I'm on DuckTales. Who do you think I am? There's no way good coffee ain't a luxury. I think even rich people acknowledge that. Bro, I came up with the most expensive thing you can have after space travel. Private planes. Damn, okay. Why Why so extreme? Luxuries you can't live without. What he was What was he expecting? Private planes? Wait, why can't you live without private planes? That's a necessity for you? It's for Prince Harry. It's funny you can actually also tell which celebrity was born rich and which celebrity wasn't because there's no way you don't know how to cut a cucumber. Be careful because I, I nipped myself the other day. I don't know, I'm kind of scared. There you go. Don't cucumbers have seeds? Oh yeah, they definitely not a good cutter, so don't zoom in on me. I swear children who never held a knife or cut a vegetable in their life know how to cut it better or to hold it better than she did. What the hell was that? I'm a firm believer that everyone needs to know how to cook for themselves. Regardless of gender, regardless of age, regardless of income, everyone should know how to cook. It's, it's not that hard. If you're a human being over the age of 16 and you can't cook a normal meal for yourself, go learn it right now because that ain't normal. That shouldn't be the case. You know what I cannot afford? A car. You know what I also cannot afford? A private plane. I know, shock. But why would I ever need one? I, I wouldn't need one ever. I don't I don't need to fly everywhere. Oh, whoa, whoa, sorry, okay. We have a lot of people disagreeing here, especially Kylie Jenner, because she took a 17 minute flight with a private jet also, like not commercial, private jet, because no, no one commercial flies 17 minutes. I, I think that's the most wasted flight I have ever heard of in my life. And plane sunk into the bottom of the ocean. Why would you fly 17 minutes? There are so many ways to get there. I, I bet you could have walked and made it in a reasonable time. Then maybe not, but you know what I mean, right? Here you can see the graphic. She started with a 27 minute flight and then changed plane and then did another 17 minute flight. No way should I try to save the planet when, when people like Kylie Jenner, Prince Harry or Taylor Swift are you know, just polluting everything. They're destroying it way faster than 100,000 people can fix it. Obviously, you should still care for the environment, and I do too. Like, you should at least regulate stuff a bit. Let's let's first get to these people and say, yo, what are you doing? Stop that. Ain't no reason for it at all. You all have money. Now, I'm going to have a target on my back because of what I'm about to say. Because Taylor Swift fans are crazy. Shout out to my sister. You know, Miss Swift out here taking 170 flights in one year with her PJ. They kind of calculated what carbon emission that is. And it would take me over 250 years to barely reach that amount of carbon emission she had put out in one year. One year, she accumulated that amount. Let's stop glorifying celebrities and let's say, yo, what are we doing here? This cannot continue. They just want to do their thing. And if you don't like the thing that they're doing, you're a hater. You, you just criticize on things. You're a keyboard warrior. No, maybe I just care and you don't. I don't think I was so fed up in any video ever. Let's just go back to fun stuff again. <laughs> but hey, what is a private project? Where you can literally have a rocket. Yeah, Jeff Bezos traveled to space and back. He literally went to space, came back and thanked all his workers and employees. 
for making it possible. Nice, but, but how about you make it possible for them to live a normal lifestyle? Because uh, these work hours and these conditions they need to work in, they must be fuming. We made you a billionaire and in return you leave the whole planet? A buddy gave us working people a shout out, so that's fine. I don't care if you need to work 60 hours a week to barely make rent. Jeff Bezos here gave you a shout out, yes? Hey, thank you. You better be grateful. I believe a lot of celebrities need to learn that they can just afford stuff that other people, regular people, can't afford. Someone asked Oprah Winfrey, yeah? For a good birthday gift for their mother. She suggested a jewelry box. The fan replied they can't afford it and she replied oh yeah it's affordable it's just a hundred something dollars. Only hundred something dollars? Right, right, yeah, uh, sure, sure let me get all these affordable designer pieces then. Give me that shit if it's so affordable. But let's end the video with another Gwyneth Paltrow situation because she just has so many of them. She promoted $500 cashmere sweaters. First of all, who the f needs a cashmere sweater? And for the reasonable price of $500, which is completely normal. But not only that, she called it a lockdown essential. Right then. Lockdown essential for only $500 when people were losing their jobs and could barely afford food. A cashmere sweater is just what you need. It's an essential. You can't live without it. It's impossible. Anyway, I think we leave it at that because my private jet takes off in 30 minutes. So yeah, I would say that's enough internet for today.